Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker, Dean Hop Realtor. Today I'm at the one acre lot community of Rockwell Ranch in New Braunfels, Texas, kind of on the edge of New Braunfels and Garden Ridge. I've got easy access to both communities. And I'm out here because the house behind me is on the market right now and I have a client from the West Coast who's checked off that they might be interested in this house. Of course, we're gonna do a video tour of it. This house is 4,400 square feet. It's uh, listed for just over a million dollars as of early August, 2024. Let's go check it out. All right, this is a gorgeous house. It was built in 2008, and the listing agent, her name is Colette Moss, and crazy coincidence, she's the same listing agent that sold the house across from it, and I did a video tour of it about three years ago. Gorgeous house, and she told me that her buyer of that house actually saw my video and from Oregon, and they came down and bought that house, and we're hoping the same thing happens with this one. But for right now, I've got a client that's in the West Coast as well. Checked off that he might be interested in this house. He's coming to town next week, but I'm trying to get him all the information by doing a few videos of the houses that he really is interested in. And uh, let's see if that works out for him. All right, let's head on inside. Oh, one more thing, this house sits on 1.77 acres. So we've got lots of space, lots of gorgeous trees in this community. And yeah, check out this beautiful door. That's a really nice a metal door. Um, if you haven't done so already, hit that like button. That does help my algorithms a lot. But you got some nice outdoor sitting space here. But yeah, let's head on inside. All right, the owner is in the process of moving out. So this is kind of a half empty house. But right when you come in, you can see you got your big fancy formal dining room space. Little tray ceiling up there, lots of room to do. Shoot, you can even put a piano and a dining room table in there if you wanted to. You got your main living space. Got some nice little built-ins there. Stone, the same stone that's on the outside is on the fireplace and the exterior wall of the bar area. <clears throat> we got these nice doors and we're gonna head out in a second, but I just wanted to kind of show you well, might as well head on out right now. <clears throat> because you have 1.77 acres. It's really nice to be able to have some nice relaxing space outside. And while there's a lot of it out there, I'm a big green egg fan, but a Kamado Joe, yeah, they are close second. So I definitely like the way this guy likes to grill. And of course we got some landscapers in the yard next to us. Lots of cedar trees. I see a few oak trees out here. But well, yeah, you could have just so much fun. And I do like the little kids playground area. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, back in the woods, they got an actual like cool treehouse playground area, super cool. And lots and lots of landscaping going on along this backside. So yeah, they've, they've really put a lot of effort into this uh, backyard space. Got some tall fences to keep the deer out. Cause good God, we do have a lot of deer in this neighborhood. And they got some tall fences just for that. Cause believe it or not, deer can jump really, really high. All right, let's head on back inside and continue the tour. Cause we haven't even seen the kitchen yet. <laughs> All right. Got lots of lighting in this kitchen space. You've got your breakfast nook, which could also be your big formal dining room area if you wanted to transform that first room into something else. <clears throat> Bar. All right. <laughs> All right, lots and lots of space in this uh, kitchen. You got your stainless steel sink. I do like the little two tray, two level bar areas, big old island and if you're looking to have a new construction build, they're no longer letting you have the outlets on the side of the island. Really frustrating, but they did just change the code on that. So that's why you might see the of new construction, the little thing popping up. Uh, the reason is that like more, less cords to get pulled, but this is, has gas to it. I love the backstop of this uh, cooking range and it's cool. Pot filler as well. We got double ovens. And at first when I looked at this, I was like, oh, it's just a little corner pantry. But wait, there's more, there's lots more. All right, like the automatic light, but this thing just keeps on going around. 
And there's enough space back here to even have your backup refrigerator just in case you fill up your first one or if you'd like to go to Costco. And uh, yeah, just tons of space for everything in this refrigerator. Oh, not refrigerator, pantry. Sorry, it has been a very long day. So bear with me on this tour. All right, coming around, we have the laundry room and I've never quite seen you have your mud room and stuff, but I've never, oh, this is not the laundry room. This is just a mud room where it's actual locker set up. That is so super cool. So if you got a plethora of kids, everybody can have their own individual lockers, places for shoes below it. And you can even have this as a little mini study office if you ch so chose. But that is super cool. Let's check out the garage. This is a three car garage. Like I said, it's packing up, moving stuff out, but plenty of space in here. Even got more extra space on the side of that gar garage door. Doors going to the outside. Got your water softener already done, so you don't have to worry about that. And some even extra built-in storage. So lots of uh, advantages to buying a pre-existing home because you're going to have that owner already doing a lot of stuff to it that you don't have to. All right, before we head to the master bedroom, which is really, really nice, I wanna head upstairs because there's a lot of cool stuff going on upstairs. So we're gonna go up uh, these leopard printed stairs. I'll let you form your own opinions on that. But if leopard print's not your style on stairs, that is so easy to change. Do not make a decision to buy or not buy this house if you don't like the carpet on the stairs. That would be rather silly. But we do have three bedrooms up here, sharing this big common space, lots of space for plenty of activities, tray ceiling, and uh, yeah, if you've got a group of kids, that uh, this is perfect to have Kids World up here, or if they wanted to have their own little mini apartment, you could. <coughs> Pardon me. So, one thing neat about this little room is this door here. You got this little, hideaway space down here. It's just, if you've got a little kiddo, well, you know, they like their little hideaway, hideaway spots. So that's really neat to have. And each of these rooms are gonna have their own bathroom. Very nicely done. With decent sized closets. There you go. Let's check out this other bedroom. Oops, I see I missed the light. I do like this wood beam, wood backing. I did something similar to that to my office. Let me hit these lights as I find them. There we go. I do like the bowl on top of any that's really nice. Once again, full restroom, but this one's going to have a shower in it. And this is going to be your, oh, nice size closet. That's very cool. But yeah, if you don't have enough kids to populate all of this, this would be my office because I would have that as my backdrop for my Zoom meetings, giving me lots of natural light coming in from the window. Oh, speaking of windows, I gotta point out these shutters. These are not cheap to have in your house. So that already comes with it. And these all open up real nice, super cool. So you've already got a massive upgrade if you're in interested in this house. But yeah, this would be a super cool little office space. Get your lighting squared away, using that as your backdrop. That'd be awesome. All right, before we show you the last of the three rooms, let's head on outside and show you what the view from the little hangout space upstairs. Little upstairs patio. This is a cement tile put in here that looks like wood but man nice view from this uh area here just gorgeous and i do like this community rockwell rock wall is just a super quiet community so if you're not looking for a bunch of loud noises and stuff this is a cool neighborhood to be in all right and you've got such easy access to everything in the Texas Hill Country, either going through like 1863,
going into, you can go anywhere in the San Antonio area or hill country area without ever having to get on I-35. 1604, which is a huge plus. All right, this room, of course, is gonna have its own bathroom as well. So really nicely done. Let's see if they got a closet. Nope, no closet there. The closet's over here. All right, and this closet's got an automatic light in it and a little fancy chandelier. Very cool. All right, now let's head on back downstairs. And, uh, oh, let me show you this real quick. <clears throat> this room itself has a closet. Looks like the owner decided instead of putting a door up, they just put a curtain right over it, which is just fine. If that's not your taste, it's not too difficult to put an actual closet door on here, but giving you more and more space and a little view of the backyard from up above. All right, now we're gonna head on down to the master bedroom. Oh wait, before we go downstairs, I almost forgot one of the most critical rooms in this house that actually has a movie theater built into this house. And it is superly cool, superly, listen to me. No, I'm tired. All right, they've already got the raised level here. <clears throat> already got the projector hanging down. I'm not sure if that's gonna be staying or not. We have to ask the listing agent. Blackout curtains on here. Good size screen, looks like a 100 inch screen, maybe a 110. I've got a 110 in my house and it is really nice to have as a projector. But the walls are painted XI. This is a darker looking blue that it shows up on the MLS screen. The MLS uh, pictures look kind of baby bluish, but actually seeing this in person, it look, does look a lot better than what it does look on the MLS. All right, we also got one more room up here. This is our Texas basement. Attic door, very thick door, because yeah, you definitely feel a temperature difference in here. They got the radiant barrier set up to keep the uh, heat down a little bit even better, but lots of space in here for your Christmas stuff and all everything like that for extra storage. But yeah, really cool to have a house with a movie room, all the built-in speakers already in. Looks like we've got the two front speakers, nice center channel. Your kind of uh, Atmos speakers are built into the walls too. So if y'all know what I'm talking about, uh, you've got your side speakers, your Atmos speakers, and the roof and your rear speaker. So this is gonna put out some amazing sound. And you're gonna see a lot of movies now they design to feature all those speakers if you've got Adobe Atmos. And uh, yeah, I bet that place is rocking. All right, now we can head on back downstairs. All right, we just came down the steps. Lots and lots of storage spaces around here. So a little coat closet. This is gonna be your open to the public powder room. Really nicely done. And your laundry room. And you don't see it often enough, but there is a little step down right here. And that's in case if your washer has a leak or something in it, it's all contained in this room. They've even got a drain in there for even more added protection. So it's really convenient to have in your laundry room. All right, here's the downstairs office. So if you want to have two offices, you can have one downstairs, one upstairs. This is a big house. Like I said, 4,400 square feet. So lots of rooms to do different activities in. So yeah, this would be your view from behind your desk. So yeah, really nice office space and uh, Let's see, check out the closet space in here. Oh, that's not closet space, that's access to the master bedroom. That is really cool. So you can have shared rooms right there. Well, let's go through the traditional way and go in and show it off the bedroom the proper way. Here we go. Here's the master bedroom that has doors opening up into the office. <clears throat> really good sized bedroom, that's really neat. And if you saw this house on MLS, the question is like, what is going on with that wall in the background? This is actually tile that they put in there. This is not wallpaper, it's actual hard tile. And it really gives a really cool effect to it. I like it a lot. <clears throat> You've got access to your outside through via this door here. And you can tell plenty of room in here. This is a king size bed. Got your nightstands, even a little sitting area. 
just plenty of space in this room. Now check out the master bedroom bath. Really nicely done. Got some big old tiles on the floor. Double vanities. Huge soaking tub with jets in it. And check out this light fixture. That is so neat. And uh, let me see if I hit this light here. Well, it's one of them. All right, well, you get the eye. Okay, the light's kind of dim right there. But wow, this is a big, beautiful shower. Love the stone on the bottom. You got your shelf. You've got your uh, shampoo nooks. Got two of them. You've got two shower heads as well, including the rain shower. I love a rain shower. All right, let's check out. Oh, we got two vanities and a makeup station. So that's really nice to have your own private makeup station. Give you the ability to keep this space a little more cleaner because all that crap that's, we don't know what the wives have, but there's a lot of it and they keep it right there. All right. Let me find here the water closet. There it is. Got your nice little water closet there. Don't pay attention to the seat just went down. I did nothing. You saw nothing. But yeah, it looks like they got the, oh shoot, brain farting. The uh, water sprayer there. Help leave in the comments what it is because I'm brain farting right now. But lots and lots of space in the closet. Yes, there's that same leopard print carpet in here, but that's easily changed. Lots of space in here. You got your shoe rack, boot rack. They're using a t-shirt rack. Plenty of more storage in here. Lots and lots of space. And if you're still with me, I definitely appreciate that. And quick pick what, uh, I can't talk anymore. Wow, today's been long. What state are you watching this from? I'm always curious to see who's watching from where, but this goes into the laundry room as well. Once again, you got your little step down. You might take a little time to get used to that, but <clears throat> talking to the seller a little bit, he absolutely loves being able to come from the laundry room into the master bedroom closet. Make things so much easier. And they've got that important lock on the door. So you're, if you've got kiddos, they're not coming from the laundry room right into your bathroom because yeah, nobody wants that. All right, beautiful home. <clears throat> it's on the market early October, 2024. Remember, they're asking just, they're asking 1,030,000 for it right now. Prices do change over time. This house just came on the market and <clears throat> love this community. And I'm happy to show this house off. And uh, if my client sees this house on the video and decides to pass, pass on it, I'll make it public at that time. All right, that's gonna do it for the tour of this beautiful home in Rockwall Ranch. New Braunfels, Texas, kind of on the edge of New, Bron New Braunfels and Garden Ridge, Texas. Amazing school districts. Look up uh, Comel ISD, great school districts in this area. If you got any more questions, please feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final screen. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and stuff. But most importantly, if you know somebody moving to this area, please share this video with them. And if they've got a realtor already, please stick with your realtor. But if they don't have a realtor, have them, encourage them, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to help. All right, that's going to do it for today. Take care now. Bye.